Hi guys. Um, in the in the second part of market profile educational series, we're going to cover about the profile structure. Uh, now, profile structure is um, extremely important to visualize what is coming forward. Uh, this takes time um, to learn, uh, learn as in anticipate. But uh, uh, once you get a hang of it, it it it, it uh, gives you a insight into what the market may do going forward. Now, um, at this stage, if you have some friend or some mentor who follows this uh, technique of market profile, do get in touch with them. Because, uh, especially in the profile structure part, if there is somebody who's experienced in this in this field, and if you get along with him and discuss day in, day out, you'll learn much faster. Alright, so keep this thing in mind. Um, let's begin. Now, the profile structure is uh, important because it helps in uh, intraday trading and positional trading. Um, now, um, I'm not an intraday trader, but uh, whatever concepts we'll discuss here, they're equally applicable in uh, intraday trading and positional trading. Because the auction process is the same, it's not different. Um, why the profile structure is especially important is because it gives you an idea about whether the market will actually move or not and that is very important for a trader you can be in an asset and if it doesn't move up or down you can bet you're gonna lose a lot of money but if you know something has a higher probability to move then as a trader you can focus on the on the structure and uh, and a way to profit from it now now the key to identifying what kind of structure might come up is is called um, is is trying and analyzing the initial balance. Now, initial balance, if you remember from the from the previous tutorial, was the first uh, 60 minutes of trading. That was uh, as shown in the example. Um, now, the profile structure also tells you or gives an insight into which other time frame trader is present or whether OTFs are present or not or you don't want to be trading with the local because they don't cause direction in the market you only want to be um, in the direction of the other time frame traders now the type of profiles that we're going to study is the normal profile, normal variation profile, trend profile uh, non-trend profile and the neutral profile um, I just want to stop here for a moment and tell you that all the books and the literature that you'll get on market profile refer to these as normal day, normal variation day and so on because uh, market profile is an intraday method that is why most of the concepts discussed in the books are based on an intraday technique or intraday terminology what I've done here is is made it for positional so that it can be easily filtered down to intraday alright um, so, so let's begin the, the first kind of profile that we'll go through is the normal profile now see the normal profile has a very wide initial balance now what does that mean a wide initial balance would mean that it will be uh, hard for the OTF trader to breach it you know imagine it like um, you know a balance the more weight you have on one side the greater weight you have to keep on the other side to you know shift that weight sh to shift that balance so, so it, it's it's sim something similar to that if you if you have a very narrow initial balance then it is much easier for the OTF trader to knock it off on either direction alright so um, a normal profile has a very wide initial balance which means that the opportunity for trader is very low to make money because most of the trading will happen in that initial balance and it will be very hard to determine which are the turning points in the market so it is typically a, a range bound kind of kind of profile and it's better to stay out, stay out of it now see this is a, a wide initial balance um, I think it's of nifty um, the initial balance is of 80 points and um, most of the trading the rotation happens within the initial balance now as a trader it's very difficult to trade this market um, the first clue in identifying what the structure is look at the initial balance if you see the initial balance is extremely wide it's better to avoid alright now this depends and hear this part carefully what Dalton and Peter missed out um, is the concept of volatility and beta now for those of you who have been actively participating in our discussions 
we all have discussed how many times that you know the numerous number of times that whenever the VIX is between 13 14 12 and the market is in a sleepy mode and the initial balance is wide you better stay out of it but when the VIX is above 17 18 and the initial balance is wide you you need to pay attention because later in the day that can be disturbed you know when a vol when volatility is high initial balance will be disturbed more often when the uh, more often than when the volatility is low all right it's but natural and same goes for beta now let's say the the volatility index is high and the initial balance is wide which stock or which asset would you want to trade you want to trade the asset which has higher beta for a stock like itc if it has a wide initial balance and the vix is high what is the probability of um the price breaching the initial balance it's low when compared to something like jp associate or an sbi or an icici bank I hope you're getting my point. Now these are the concepts I'll cover much, much, much later, where I'll integrate market profile with um, conventional technical analysis, and um, there I'll show some some things which uh, which are, in my opinion, missing out from the literature already there, or maybe um, it's been covered. I am not aware of it, but um, uh, I, I think that will come in in the tenth in the tenth part. All right. So the next profile that we'll cover is the normal variation profile. Now normal variation profile is similar to normal profile. The only difference is that the initial balance in normal variation profile is smaller than um, you know that compared of a normal day, normal profile that is. Um, as the profile progresses, you know most of the trading happens within the initial balance, but during the later stage. And especially for those who who are in Indian market, when the Europe opens, European market opens, then the OTF trader enter the market and, and drive the price, you know, beyond the initial balance. Okay, and typically on a normal variation day, when um, where the price closes gives an insight into what is going to happen the next day. Uh, I'll, I'll just come back to this point. So let us see. See, we we have an initial balance which is relatively wide out here most of the trading till the HIJ um, TPO happens within the initial balance then then suddenly the KLM TPO uh, this, uh, 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 trades uh, beyond the initial balance now what has happened here is that the other time frame trader has entered here and he drove the prices down okay this is a structure of a day so what happens is till four hours price trades within the IB. Then later in the day, OTF traders enter the market and drive the prices below. Now this is a normal variation day. All right. Till this point, it seems it's a normal day. Then suddenly they come and they drive the prices down. Okay. Now if the price, after going down, comes back and closes within the initial balance or just just outside it, then it does not have that negative. Uh, implication especially for this profile because it's a negative profile but if it closes well around the you know bottom of the range then it has more bearish implications okay the next profile that we're going to study is trend profile trend profile is a dream profile for traders if you catch a trend profile early um, you're going to make a lot of money in it and trend profile is a profile when you know market just trades in one direction the other time frame trader enters and he just drives the prices above or down depending on the nature of the trader they they, they completely control the profile and it just shows the the directional confidence they have um in 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 textbooks it's written that each tpo interval or each sub profile interval will be higher than the previous one like let's say the A series TPO, the low of A series will be higher than B. Then the B series low will be higher than uh, you know the the A profile. I'll just explain it with the example. So trend day, what they say is that the low of A is never breached by B, and the low of C, a low of B is never breached by C. It's a higher high concept, you know, higher high and higher lows. That is what is written in textbook. What I'll say is don't be rigid about this rule because there are trend days which happen when the B profile goes, the B sub profile goes below the A 
sub profile or the C will go below the B or the A but eventually the prices just uh, move up alright so be flexible in, in, in that uh, a trend profile is elongated it is not wide that is wide as in uh, look at the width of this profile maximum three TPOs are there three rows of TPOs three, three columns or whatever um, uh, whereas on a normal day or normal variation look at how many TPOs are there one two three four five six seven seven in, in one line alright so the profiles on a trend day are relatively very um, thin and elongated okay now there are two types of trend profile one is the standard trend profile which I'm showing which is much thinner and the price just keeps moving in one direction without without pausing etc but um, the the second kind of trend profile is the double distribution trend profile what happens in the double distribution trend profile is that the initial base is small narrow uh, the other time frame trader enters the market drives the price high um, then it rotates again in that in that driven area so you get a, a DD kind of structure with a single print in between I'll show you the structure later uh, what this shows uh, in respect of bullishness the double distribution profile is less bullish than the standard profile standard trend profile it has made it, it it forms two balance areas one balance area is when the initial rotation was happening within the initial balance and the second one is when it the initial balance gets disturbed and again a new balance area forms okay usually the the two um, balance regions are separated by single prints the single prints between the two profiles are extremely important because usually the price does not come and visit that uh, single print if it does then you need to know that something has changed in the market and you need to review your trades or your opinion let us look at a double distribution profile okay here it is see what happens the market opens it rotates first here then the single print happen then it again rotates here so you get two balance regions first balance region and the second balance region and this is the single print alright so look at the initial balance it's, it's relatively narrow now the gray part that you see is actually the extension of initial balance uh, I think it's 50% or 150% right now don't go into those aspects but uh, just keep this in mind that in double distribution you get two balance areas okay so let's say the price closed at M here if if um, during the same profile if the price starts to trade within this single print let's say trades here after penetrating these single prints then you should know that something has changed in the market and the likelihood of the prices rising further increase alright so this is an important clue that comes with the single print the next profile structure that we identify is the non-trend profile and as the name suggests this is a extremely you know low directional conviction profile it's better for traders to stay away um, this usually has a narrow initial balance and and as traders we start to position ourselves for a, a trend day or a normal variation day or where or profile but nothing happens the price just keeps rotating here and there and um, it, it usually it's very frustrating it's frustrating on two counts one the price does not move anywhere and second because the initial balance was narrow we start visualizing uh, the potential gains that may come our way and when eventually nothing happens it, it becomes uh, it becomes frustrating so this this kind of profile usually develops when the market has run up significantly and it just consolidates pauses then again after two three days it will start to uh, move up all right so what we call is consolidation days so this is so we have an initial balance the market breaches the initial balance and we do expect that it could be a trend day or a normal variation day but nothing happens the price rotates back it forms a value area and just stays there all right so basically a trader gains nothing out of it uh, the price remains uh, in the center there is not much movement 
typically these days will come when the VIX is low. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this aspect later, but you have to relate market profile with volatility. Otherwise, I think a person misses out on most of the things. Because if you start looking for a non-trend day on a on a uh, uh, phase of the market where the VIX is above 20, then <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going to be you're going to be surprised more than often. Whereas non-trend days will happen more often when the VIX is low. And let me give you an example. Um, in in the period between September 2012 and December 2012. If you remember, the market was just swirling in a, in a zone of 5900 to 6100, and the VIX was continuously trending down. That is when you were getting a lot of non-trend profile days, and and the time for traders to either participate intraday or structure themselves positionally was not ripe. It's only when VIX started rising we started getting more trader friendly profile structures all right now again i will go in much detail much depth with wix and profile structures later in uh, towards the end the next profile i think this is the last profile let me check yeah the next profile that we study is uh, the neutral profile now what happens in the neutral profile is that both otf traders are present the the other time frame buyer and the other time frame seller um this this day happens when the perception of value for both traders is more or less same but they never trade with each other they will always trade with the local um but their perception is you know the area is more or less same uh, what happens is the initial balance is neither too wide nor too um narrow and see this is something which will come with practice that for every instrument you need to determine what is the optimum initial balance and that can only come if you back test properly uh, in the end i will give out for some um, well known instruments including the nifty bank nifty sbi jp icsa bank axis bank and even for footsie dow now that now that they trade on nsc i will, I will give that so when you look at the initial balance of the of the neutral uh, profile then um, um what what happens is that it will it will either be uh, very um what do you call mm, narrow it won't be the narrow it won't be wide um it will be uh, you'll have a feeling that it can be broken cannot be broken that kind of mixed feeling will be there so uh, during those periods what you need to do is um look out look out for uh, typical hints which 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 give out a message if whether both time frame traders are present or not and i'll come to that part later where we can determine that by the way i'm just flipping slides because there's a mistake here um the trend profile name that i've written it's for the double distribution trend profile um uh, here the non trend profile should not have this trend profile um, tag so just ignore that it should just be non trend profile and similar for next slides see it should just be neutral profile it should not be trend profile here so i'm sorry for that anyway um so uh, what happens is um, that in a neutral profile um, range extensions happen later in the day now sometimes um the when the price extends through the initial balance it extends on the both side that is where the trader gets confused he starts thinking that let's say a buyer otf has taken control but immediately market reverses and a seller otf uh, comes in control and he drives the prices down again this this mostly happens when vix is high this will not happen when vix is low because volatility can cause traders switching sides low volatility rarely does that all right so what happens is if if um, let's say this is the profile see it's extended on upwards and it's expand extended down and and the both traders are present in this um, structure so 
let's say uh, the prices extend down and close somewhere towards the lower or the higher end that kind of structure is called a neutral profile extreme because the closing happens in the extremes if if both sides get uh, range extensions but the profile closes somewhere here then it is called the neutral profile center because it's closing in the center of the profile all right again i would just like to repeat just ignore the trend profile tag it's just the neutral profile okay this is a mistake um so so these are the kind of profile structures we have covered and uh, um it's not that hard to get a um idea of um, what kind of structure might come up it is all about a having a optimum setting for initial balance once you have an optimum setting for initial balance more or less it's figured out and second most important aspect is volatility which i am going to cover later in detail because right now if i cover volatility it's just going to confuse you so these are the two things that you need to keep in mind from your side what you can do is now that you have you have an idea of the profile structure every day that the market opens after the 1 hour of trade just come and you know you can come and join the forum discussions and write what kind of structure you think don't worry about being right or wrong uh, even at this stage you know uh, i commit serious mistakes in market profile and, and it happens it's just part and parcel of trading so um and the structure is important for you because now let us go back to your system the breakout system we talk about now let's say we get a buy on a breakout system okay and you check the profile and you see that the initial balance is extremely narrow immediately that what comes to your mind is this can be disturbed and hence the 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 signal by your system is optimum and you can go in um, aggressively in it okay now let's say you see the structure and the profile structure is initial balance is too wide you immediately come to know that what it can either be a normal day normal profile or a non trend day um or a non trend profile so so if you if you categorize risk wise risk and reward wise the most preferable will be a trend profile all right then a normal variation profile and the least preferred would be normal neutral and non trend neutral some people argue that it can be good for traders but you know it's it's a little bit difficult to catch both sides unless you're an option participant and again i will combine market profile and options later in the tutorials but um, that is how you have to identify the normal profile and the non trend profile are less rewarding and less risky profiles whereas the normal variation trend and the neutral profiles are more riskier and more rewarding uh, rewarding all right so um this is how you can you can get amazing insights uh, through market profile and either you can combine it with the system or use this as stand alone also um that is completely fine now in the in the next tutorial i think we are going to talk about uh, the framework and how the structure only small uh, parts uh, forms a small part in in the market profile and and mostly it is about you know visualization and um, gaining experience and getting better at it um one thing that i want to tell you is that um anything that you do in trading is not going to come to you in the next 15 days even even in the next 10 days if you watch these videos 50 times a day you won't become a good market profile trader because it's about seeing how things happen and that develops only in time but again my main emphasis is um either you can join me in the in the in the chat rooms or uh, uh, webinars where i'll conduct live sessions or as usual we you can join us at forums we have a good healthy group of people who who discuss the concepts and uh, catch hold of someone who knows market profile well 
they can they can tremendously um, enhance the speed of your learning curve and uh, and and that way you can um, become a, a better trader so anyway still till next uh, time see you guys bye